morning, Michael Pinball Clemens is here, one of our fave guests. Oh, always thank you nice so, to see you. Always great to see you. You and make my morning. And you still look like a cheerleader, too. Oh, it's so nice to see. It. Yes, and I like yes. Him so much. But I also Good. like him because he does amazing, amazing work in, in so many countries, building schools. Yeah. Uh, you have a big fundraiser coming up on May 8th. I will be there that night. Let's talk thank, about that. Thank you. Can, can, before we do that, okay, can, yeah. can, can we just do a shout out, a big cheer? Let's go, Raptors. Let's I mean, go, yeah, Raptors. Yeah, there's so much news today that I think the Raptors are getting lost a little bit here. So, so, so let's go, Raptors. Can we just do a shout out you for them? You bet. Yeah, great. So, okay. just a phenomenal game last night. It so. was. So glad yeah, that they so, won. Yes. And, and, and they, that was philanthropy. That was a gift to us, wasn't it? Thank you yes. so much, yeah. Raptors. Yes. And the heart, the desire, all of those things that make you want to give to others is a part of, I think, what we saw on the court last night. You bet. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, but we're very excited about our gala this year. You are always there for us. So always. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. And uh, this year we have Classified, who will be there performing. Uh, Martin Sheen is our feature speaker this year. I know. Really cool. Very cool. So, so it's going to be great. But our goal, that what's, what's, the only thing better than Martin Sheen is the fact that we're going to make an effort to build 100 schools. And no, I shouldn't say make an effort, right? We're going to build 100 schools. Absolutely. 100 schools. You know, we made this commitment to build 131 schools over five years. We exceeded that in four. Exceeded it in four years. Yes. Yeah, so, so we did 160. And, and through that, you know, I told our guys, I said, you know what? That's great, but I think we're loafing. Yeah, we, want, I, th I think we can, can do, do more. I think, I think we can so do too. more. So, so we're going to try to double that original in the because fi five years will be this fall. So we're trying to double that, and we said, well, don't, don't, yeah, don't, don't be lazy. Let's do it in one night. Let's just do it now, right? One so, night. So hundred schools in one night is ten thousand dollars to build a school in a developing country. So uh, much more reasonable that I think that we think your your dollar does go a long way. Uh, but the kids and the impact is is the real story. You're doing wonderful things. Let's talk. Let's talk about the countries, the countries yes. that you work with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the, we started in Kenya, uh, and that's that was really sort of where we we went the first time. Uh, Di and I went along with Natasha, our co-founder, and, and uh, we really um, loved that the community, and it was just, just a really special time, really special place, and that's what really stole our heart. And then uh, we began to move on to other countries. We built in Haiti and Ecuador, Sierra Leone, uh, India, rural China, um, and uh, Sri Lanka as well. We We've done a little bit of building there as well. Our, our focus today is probably um, Haiti, Ecuador, and Kenya. That's probably our focus. And we we'll build out countries? in India. Now, now one is because of the need. Uh, yeah. India is probably the, is the next one that we're really ramping up on now. So that's the next big country that we're, we're really ramping on. And, and the reason for it is, one is the need. Two is the buy-in from the country. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you'd, you know, as, as much as it's, it's not that expensive, we still want to see all those resources used and used prudently. People are giving their hard-earned money. So we want to go into countries where there's stability, where, where um, the teachers are provided. The, the teachers are indigenous to the community. Uh, the, when we go in, the workers as well are hired from the community. Uh, people can go on and take the trip, and maybe we'll talk that, about that a little bit later, but, but the, the workers are indigenous to the community. The buy-in is in the community, and so that's, that builds the stability. People take ownership. Sometimes people have gone in and built wonderful structures uh, that the community didn't feel was a part of theirs. They felt like it belonged to someone yeah. else. But they, they have the ownership, the structure, it's, it, um, the, so the teachers are there, everyone is. So it, it works. It makes it a sustainable opportunity. Hiring people from that country, but also taking people on the builds with you. And yes, people can pay to be on these right. builds. But yes. what an amazing experience. And I asked you, when you go on these builds, yes. you know, yes. you're working really hard, yes. seven days, do you get a little bit of time for yourself? Well, well you know, there's, there's a wonderful thing that takes place at the end. At the end of the trip, there is a, uh, a safari. And what is wonderful about the safari is not only does it give, give you a chance to see this, how beautiful the country is, and it, but, but it also says, okay, we, we're in a situation where we see the level of poverty, right? Yes. Now, on the other hand, you get to see the richness of the country. How beautiful, how beautiful, the, beautiful the country that, that, is. So, so, so that's what, it's a great balance, I think, because you go and you, you see the poverty that, like, is overwhelming. But, you know, someone said on our last trip to Kenya, they have less and smile more. 
and we have more and smile less. I totally and agree. I saw, yeah. yeah, I went to Rwanda. I feel the same yeah, way. So, yeah. I, I maybe want to mention this is part of Free the Children. The Kilberger brothers will yes. be there and uh, just so inspirational. Love these guys. And uh, the really cool thing is that they create a sustainable community. So it's not just uh, education, it's clean water, it's health, it's also uh, microeconomy, and finally agriculture. There's a farming built. So, so we do the schools, but there is much more to a sustainable community. The night that you can help out is on May 8th. There are tickets available? Tickets available. $350 and you'll help us build 100 schools. Wonderful. I will be there. You can go to mpcf.ca. It's happening on May 8th. We Unite Night. I'm sorry. It's called, yes, that's what it's called. We <laughs> Unite. It's yes. We Unite and that's the night. It's kind on of May 8th. We Day. You know, we, you know, We Day with the Kilberger Brothers. We Unite that this time. Right? So, we Unite. We're yes. going <laughs> to unite on May 8th. Taking a break. We'll see you when we come back on Breakfast Television. And it's a